Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video, we're going to study polygons. And this lesson is meant for approximately third or fourth grade level. And children at that point are basically studying the names of these different polygons. These different words, terms, quadrilaterals have four sides and four vertices. And then there's pentagons, hexagons, heptagons and octagons. So, in the lesson, we're concentrating on just getting children to be familiar with these words and hopefully learning to memorize them. And then also taking apart polygons and seeing what kind of new polygons we get and putting together polygons and seeing what new polygons we get. One fun exercise I like to use is to let children draw four points anywhere on the paper and then connect them with line segments and the question is what polygon do you get? And do the same for draw five points, six points, seven points, eight points, right? So let's just try. If I draw four points, just kind of randomly, wherever I please, then connect them. There. Now I got, of course, a quadrilateral. And I didn't get any special one like a square or anything. Just, just a quadrilateral. Let's try that with seven points. And children are allowed to draw their points anywhere they want. And seven. And then connect them. There, a perfectly dandy heptagon, wouldn't you say? Now here we go into dividing polygons into other polygons. Divide this shape into a triangle and a pentagon. And that's not totally obvious as to how it should be done, because if you just draw a line, and the idea is to use one line segment to do this, okay? With one line segment, divide this shape into a triangle and a pentagon. If I draw a diagonal here, I would get two triangles. So that, so that won't work. If I put it here, then I get two rectangles, right? That won't work either. I'll just show you the solution, but children can think about it for a little while. You basically draw a line here, so you cut off a little corner, which is your triangle. And then here you have one, two, three, four, five vertices, so it is a pentagon. Divide this shape into a triangle and a quadrilateral using just one line. And again, it might take some thinking and experimenting, and there might be several solutions. But I'll show you one solution that I found. is here. Here's the triangle, and here's the quadrilateral, four vertices. And then we also want to put shapes together to form new polygons. For example, you might have this and this, a rectangle and a triangle. And what new polygon will you get if you place this over here, right? I think I would get the pentagon. Or oh, if I have two congruent triangles, I can make several different kinds of new shapes with those two. And this exercise really needs to be done where you cut out from paper or cardboard these kind of different pieces and then put them together. So I want to show that to you with some pieces I cut. I cut some pieces and I'm going to show you some that can be done. Let's say we have two congruent triangles or, or two identical triangles. What you can do with these is, for example, put them like this. And this makes, mine makes almost a square, but it actually is a parallelogram. It depends. If your two triangles are right triangles, then you would get a square. But you can also put them together like this, these two sides together, and then you get the parallelogram. And then there are the third sides too, which also gives you a parallelogram. Here I have two identical quadrilaterals, actually two congruent trapezoids. And again, I can put them together in various ways. Like for example here, I would get a hexagon. I can put these two sides together, and then that makes a parallelogram. Or the shortest ones, shortest sides together. And what does it make now? You would have to count the vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six. A hexagon again. 
Yeah, I have a rectangle and then two quadrilaterals. I can put the rectangle and quadrilateral together like that. I would have one, two, three, four, five, six hexagon again, right? Or I could add a third piece into it from here. And then I would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, an octagon. And so on. So children can experiment with these kind of shapes and make new shapes and have fun doing so and learn about polygons.